Welcome back ladies and gentlemen with another Pokemon Go video. In this video, we'll be discussing Pokemon Go's latest update. Is it the update that we've been waiting for? Stay tuned and find out. Throw, 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 throw it up. Start twerking like Miley. Oh yeah. Twerking like Miley. Don't pop it like Miley. Most Android users have received the Pokemon Go update version 0.31. This consists mostly of option and appearance changes. For those of you that haven't received the update, not to worry, it'll be available soon. Let's take a look at some of the changes. First notable change is the initial prompt screen. When you log on to Pokemon Go, you will be greeted with a warning, such as, stay alert, be aware of your surroundings, do not drive and play Pokemon Go, do not trespass while playing Pokemon Go. You have to select OK giving your acknowledgement before you can pr proceed to play. Upon entering the game, if you click on the navigation panel located on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll notice the footprints have completely disappeared. Apparently, fixing the footprints proved to be too challenging so they just removed them completely. Way to go. Looking right across from your navigation panel, click on your character's avatar. Not only have the medals been redesigned, but the font has a bolder print. And now you have access to a customization screen where you can customize your character at will. Previously, this can only be done at the beginning of the game. Additional option changes would include the ability to access the store from your egg incubator menu. I guess they really wanted you to buy those incubators. Cha-ching! Another notable change would have to be the sudden change in the transfer button. After you catch a Pokemon, you're brought to a completion screen. The transfer button has been removed completely and replaced with a little circle on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. By clicking this, you can select two options. You can either favor the Pokemon, or you can transfer it for that delicious candy. Lastly, I want to quickly mention the behind the scenes update. Pokemon Go has decided to adjust the battle damages. This basically means Vaporeon has been nerfed. Although I have used Vaporeon currently in gym battles, I really can't tell the difference. They also refined the gym animations. After winning a gym, gym battle, you are now dazzled with lights and flashes. They also improved memory issues, they fixed bugs with the encounters with wild Pokemon, and they fixed some map features. Before we close, I'm going to give you guys some awesome information, some locations. I'm going to find some awesome Pokemon. Desert Star Park, major crossroads are West El Conte Boulevard and North 85th Drive. Here's where you can find Gasly. Desert Park West, not too far from Desert Star Park, on the corner of 67th Avenue and West El Conte Boulevard, this is where you can find Slowpoke. El Oso Park, this is where you can find Electabuzz, it's on the corner of 75th Avenue and Thomas. Those are the major crossroads. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys found the information very informative. And I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, tell a friend, and most importantly, drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts on future updates and what you think is going to happen with the latest installment of Pokemon Go.